Okay. Have you ever wondered what other lung diseases there are besides common ones like asthma, tuberculosis, and pneumonia? Well, look no further because today I'm going to be talking about a lesser known disease known as pulmonary fibrosis. Now get this, see this straw hole? It's pretty small, right? Imagine breathing through this. That's how it feels like to have pulmonary fibrosis. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Literally though, pulmonary fibrosis is scarring in your lungs. Your lungs struggle to expand, resulting in difficulties in getting enough oxygen into the body. It's like trying to inflate a balloon. You try to blow air into it, but there isn't enough oxygen that actually enters the balloon, resulting in, bar in the balloon barely inflating. This is a visual representation of what pulmonary fibrosis looks like. As you can see at the bottom, it is significantly darker due to the scarring and damaged bronchioles and alveoli. So, how do we detect if someone has pulmonary fibrosis? Well, some symptoms of pulmonary fibrosis include shortness of breath, breathing in shallow, short spurts, dry cough that doesn't go away, fatigue, and cyanosis. As for the cause of pulmonary fibrosis, sadly, there are currently no discovered reasons why this terrible disease exists. Are you at risk for pulmonary fibrosis? Well, worry not, my anatomy and physiology friends, because most of it doesn't apply to us. Because risk factors are 65 and older, are male, or have genetical history with family who has already obtained pulmonary fibrosis of course with any other of course like any other lung disease don't smoke otherwise you have a higher chance of getting any lung disease also avoid substances i'm looking at you all we are all high schoolers and shouldn't do substances woohoo you guys made it to the end i hope you guys enjoyed this and learned something bye bye